Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, technology trainer of Port Huron Schools, and today I'm going to show you how to insert audio into Google Slides. Now I have a slideshow open right here. This is where I'm going to store this week's audio and videos. I've got an audio introduction that I'd like to add and then I have some videos in the subsequent slides. So in this introduction here, I say to click on the audio clip below to hear Mr. Rep introduce today's story. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I recorded my introduction and how I added it to Google Drive so that it now can be shareable to all of my students and they can play it in the Google Slide presentation. So the first step is to go to a web-based tool like this one called Vocaroo. It's V-O-C-A-R-O-O dot com. Vocaroo is a great tool that I've been using for quite a few years now to record audio on the web. It now has this little button that looks like a microphone and you can click on it and it immediately starts to record your voice and you speak as long as you need to and then when you're done click on the square button to stop. And now I've recorded an audio sample here that I can save and share. And we're going to pretend that this is the introduction that I'm going to insert into my Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to click Save and Share where it now saves this audio clip and it gives it a link but we don't want the link. What we really want is to download this as an MP3 file. So I'm going to click the download button and I'll give it a title. I'll call it Mr. Rep Introduction and I'll save it to my desktop. Students can save their voice recordings on their Chromebooks if they have a Chromebook. It can be saved to the Files app on the Chromebook. So this works perfectly well for anyone recording on a Chromebook as well as a desktop or laptop. And then the next step is to go into your Google Drive. So what I did in my Google Drive is I made a folder called Audio Files. So I'll open this folder and I'd recommend that you do the same. Open the folder first so that it's easy to upload directly into the folder. So with the folder open, you see Audio Files right there, the title of the folder. I'm going to click the New button and then go to File Upload. I'm going to go to my desktop and click on Desktop because that's where I saved my introduction. And here you can see Mr. Rep Introduction. I'm going to click on that and click Open. Now students on a Chromebook would go to their Downloads folder at the left and locate the audio MP3 that they recorded from Vocaroo. They'll click on that and then do the very same thing we're doing now, going to Google Drive and uploading it into a folder. So you can see I have the audio files here now with their red icons. And the next step in making this work properly is to share the file with anyone who has the link. So I'm going to right click and choose Share. And then from here, you're going to have to change where it is restricted. So I'm going to change it. And now if it's someone in the school district, like a student who you want to open this, then you'd be good to go right here. Just click done. But if it's a parent or someone outside of your school district who you want to open this file, then you would need to change it to anyone with the link from the drop down menu. But since I'm only going to be sharing this with students in our school district, I will leave it at the school district with view only access and I'll click done. This gives the proper permissions for the file and then when I put it into the slideshow by going to insert and choosing audio and then go to my drive, my most recent audio files are right here at the top. So I'll click on it and then click select. It then places this tiny little speaker icon into my slideshow I can make it a little larger if I'd like to. I want students to be able to click on it. They can click on the little play arrow and they can now play this audio file. A few other things to be concerned about are over here at the right. Would you like it to start playing when they click on it or would you like it to start playing as soon as the slide loads, which would be automatically. So that's your choice. And then the volume when presenting is also editable. So you can change that here. I'll have it at maximum volume. 
And then here you can hide the icon when you're presenting if you'd like, or do what I'm doing, which is stop on the slide change. So as soon as this slide changes, it will stop playing. If you'd rather that it not stop playing and actually play as background for your entire presentation, then turn off stop on slide change, and then the audio will play all the way through your slideshow until it finishes, or until the clip finishes. So these are your settings for audio playback. Here's your play button, and here's your icon. Let's go back to insert audio, and I just wanted to mention that these audio files are all MP3s or WAV files. There are a few other audio formats that will work, but they must be in your Google Drive in order to have access to them. So when you saw me uploading to Google Drive, that is essential. Another thing to keep in mind, I can then share this slideshow with whomever I want. However, if I did not share this audio clip ahead of time, like I did in my Google Drive here, when I chose Share, if I don't pre-share that file, then when this slideshow is shared with other people, they will be able to access the slides, but they will not be able to play the audio unless it's been shared with them previously. So keep all of these tips in mind when using audio inside of Google Slides.